G'day, it's Oliver here from Pacific Toyota. Just give you the virtual tour of our 2020 Toyota Corolla Hatch Ascent Sport. And I'd just like to give you a bit of a run through our showroom here in Cairns. We are the largest pre-owned dealership in Cairns, as you can see, with plenty of stock. Now, just across the road, we do have our new car and Lexus showroom, and just our service and parts department just next door. Now, I'd just like to get back to the virtual tour. Now, this is just a uh, detailed run through the vehicle, just to show you the overall condition of the vehicle, just to show you any stone chips or, or scratches or anything that may need a bit of attending to. If there is anything that does catch your attention, please don't hesitate to let me know, and I'll do my best to rectify the issue. As you can see, all the bonnet here is all in excellent condition. Uh, it is just a little bit, a little bit dirty at the moment, um, but uh, a little bit of a clean, and it should be all, um, all spick and span. Uh, but as you can see, there's no stone chips or anything like that along the uh, the front of the vehicle here. All in really, really great condition. The uh, previous owner is definitely, definitely taking care of the vehicle. Uh, there is just, there's just a bit of a, yeah, scratch along here. Just from coming into some some driveways and whatnot, uh, but nothing too major. All along here is all all in really great condition, as you can see. Plenty of tread left on your uh, your front passenger side tire, as you can see. Still in excellent condition. And I'll just run through to the uh, passenger side here as well, as you can see all the passenger side doors in really, really great condition. Just run you through a little bit of the interior on the uh, passenger side. As you can see, your passenger side seats are, are all in excellent condition. There's no uh, no scratches or burn holes or anything like that in the seats, which is really, really great to see that the, uh, the previous owner's taken care of the vehicle. Uh, and as you can see, once again, the um, floor mats have done an excellent job uh, covering, the, um, covering the floors, keeping them all in really great condition. All on the inside of the doors here as well are all in all in excellent condition. You just got your cup holders there, electric windows, and just your, your door handles just there as well. And as you can see, just in your uh, your back passenger uh, door here as well, all in really good condition. There's no scratches or anything like that on the doors, which is really good to see. And as you can see, just got your back passenger seats here as well. Uh, you do have your anchor points there just for your child's seat. Oh, just pop that one back in. So as you can see, you do just have your uh, anchor points in there. So you just pop these out and uh, your anchor points are just there for your uh, baby seats and that one just pops out there as well. Just pop those back in. And as you can see, just up here as well, you do have just a few cup holders just for your uh, your back passengers just there. Now the back passenger seats are all in really good condition along the uh, along the floor. Obviously the floor mats have um, done an excellent job projecting the floor. Uh, you just got your cup holders just there, electric windows and just your, your uh, door handle. Just run through to the back of the vehicle now. You do just have your, uh, your back passenger side tire as you can see. Now I'll just get my phone. And there's still plenty of tread left on the tire, as you can see. Still in really good condition. Just run it through to the back of the vehicle now. All in really good condition along the back of the vehicle here. Do just have your little reversing camera, just make it a little bit easier when parking. But overall, all in really good condition along the back. Yes. All right. Um, um, but what about my daughter? And as you can see, all in the uh, the boot here is all in really great condition as well. Now I'll just pop this here. Now, as you can see, you do just have your uh, spare tire, and you've just got your jack just there, and your tools just in case the uh, just in case you get a, a flat tire uh, along the highway. You do have your jack and tools uh, just under there, just to change the uh, change the tire over. Now, as you can see. All along the driver's side here is all in really great condition. There is just a little a couple little bits and pieces of uh, dirt just there. There is just a little, so I'll just see if I camera can focus there. There's just a little mark there, just on the, uh, the back of the driver's side there. As you can see, 
all in really great condition along the uh, the back passenger side doors. And once again, you do just have your uh, your back passenger seats as well, all in really great condition. And once again, you do just have your floor mats just here. And obviously your, uh, your floors are all in great condition as well. Just run through that you just got your uh, driver's side door here. Lastly, as you can see the driver's side door is all in really great condition still. There's just a little, little mark uh, just there. That's actually coming off my finger that is so just a bit of a wash and that'll uh, that'll come off all in really great condition along the uh the driver's side here and as you can see you do just have your uh your front driver's side tire uh just there as well obviously still plenty of tread left on that one it's still in excellent condition just get my uh just get my camera to focus just there now we'll just jump inside and just uh show you through a little bit uh, through the driver's seats and uh, through a few, through a few of the controls as well. Um, just turn the vehicle on. Now your windows do do come out as well once you turn the vehicle on. Now, as you can see, you don't have any uh, any warning lights or anything like that, except for the. Uh, for low fuel, the park brake and the um, and the seatbelt, which are all all can be uh, all can be fixed once you put the seatbelt on, take the park brake off, and chuck some fuel on it. And you do just have all your uh, all your um, arrows here as well. That will just um, just skip you through it, or just show you through some of your um, you know how many kilometres you're doing. Uh, I'll just show you um, how much. Uh, fuel you're using as well, your fuel economy and everything like that. You just got your uh, your voice recognition for your Bluetooth. Got your answering uh, phone calls just there as well. Uh, your volume control just there. And on the right hand side of the steering wheel, you do just have your uh, forward crash uh, mitigator, which will just give you a bit of a warning just if you are coming up to an object pretty fast. Um, we'll just give you a warning that uh, there's, there's something in front of you. And you do just have your uh, your lane departure assist just there as well, and obviously all your uh, your cruise control just there. Uh, just changing through your modes just here. So as you can see, so I'll just get the <laughs> turn the radio down there. So I'll just get my camera to focus up. So as you can see, you just got your uh, FM radio, Bluetooth, all your AM radios as well. All in really good condition along all the all inside the vehicle here as well you do just have all your uh, all your window controls as well all your air conditioning controls here and obviously all your uh, touch screen display so if you do want to connect your phone up you can just uh, connect those up you just add a um, add on your phone and you're all in uh, but you can also do everything from the uh, display screen as well which will just take you through all your audio phone uh, and all through your um, your apps as well so uh, I'll just run through some of the service history as well on the vehicle. Obviously, being a 2020 model, it is um, is going to have very low kilometres, being at, at 38 uh, 38,000 kilometres. Just get first. Just had your uh, first service there. The 12 month of 50,000, 15,000 kilometre service uh, done at 12,497 uh, kilometres. And the second service there, done at uh, 31,000 kilometers just there as well. So you've just got 38,000 uh, on the clock just there, as you can see. And your next service isn't due until uh, until 45,000 or on the 28th of the uh, 11th, 2022. So still a fair while until your next service. Now you've just got all your, um, your sport mode here as well, uh, all your traction control there. And you do just have your um, electronic handbrake just there as well now I'll just jump out and I'll uh, show you a bit through the engine bay now, 
as you can see, all inside the engine bay is all in really great condition. Uh, there's no unusual ticks or noises or anything coming from the engine, which is really good to hear. All really clean, really neat and tidy underneath. Alright, that is your virtual tour of your 2020 Toyota Corolla. Thank you.